Hola, mi compadres y feliz Navidad. Hello, friends. Merry Christmas. And I just want to do a quick update for you YouTube guys out there because I know I haven't been real active. I did post a video. Go check out the channel. I did post a video this week of a DUI checkpoint that we experienced a few days here in Mexico. Now, as you guys know, I don't approve of any checkpoints on our roads. And, of course, I let the uh, Mexican Federale know that. We had a little conversation about it. The difference between dealing with a checkpoint here versus there is absolutely astounding. Now, checkpoints on roads and impeding travel, these are a violation of human rights no matter where you are in the world. Uh, and in both the U.S. and Mexico, they are a violation of the human rights articulated in the constitutions. So it's important to raise these as human rights. It's important to talk about it. But I think it's also important for people to see the contrast. While checkpoints down here are not good, the difference in the behavior of the enforcement and how much violence they commit and how much they abuse and how much corruption they perpetrate on the streets uh, in the way that they treat people is, is really quite astounding. So check out that video. The reason I haven't been live streaming much is, yes, I have been busy and we've had a lot going on. Right now we're settled down for a few days enjoying uh, the Christmas season with the family in uh, the nice quiet state of San Luis Potosi. Very beautiful here and warm, that too. But YouTube has shut down my ability to live stream, all right? So what's going on is YouTube has this horrible reporting system. It's not that they just target one group or another, or one party or another, like, like people often say. They target anyone who has a voice and anyone who is speaking out. They have a system where people report videos and they punish people and block people uh, under these arbitrary terms of service. They don't tell you why or what you did wrong or anything like that most of the time time they just punish you and so apparently I, I'm at the moment blocked from doing any live streaming uh, and I, I guess the video in question is one from a few months ago which you can still find it's on other people's channels because they mirrored it I believe uh, it's called when should you burn a flag I think it's a video I did just nothing talking about even violence or horrible behavior or anything like that it's it's a conversation about this debate we're always having where we put the flag way up here even though people's rights are way down here and it was I, it, it, something i made months ago some of you may have seen it some of you may not have but apparently this arbitrarily violated the youtube terms of service more realistically the trolls the government informants the feds they're reporting my stuff they are also reporting things uh, as as copyright violations that are not copyright violations. Uh, there's there's all kinds of people out there working for uh, the enemies of liberty in one way or another and pretending they're patriots and good guys. And that's the world we live in, uh, it seems like, particularly in the USA. So that's the reason there hasn't been a lot of live streams. I am still doing live streams over on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash callmegav. I'm also looking at different alternative video sites. So I've started uploading to one called uh, DTube. And if you search for me, I'll link it down here. If you want to follow me and sign up over there and start posting, it's actually a social network and it also has a video site, but it's based on, on the blockchain. It's based on cryptocurrency. And so it can actually be monetized based on how many people interact and like it. And it's kind of hard to explain right here, but it's an interesting social network and it's an interesting... Uh, video channel and it's decentralized. It's not a. It's not one one company or something like that putting it out. So we always have to be kind of pressing forward, looking for ways to uh, keep spreading our message as as these big 500 pound gorilla uh, companies like the Facebooks, like the YouTube, as they continue to censor voices from all factions and all groups. Everyone should have their voice. Everyone should be speaking out. So that's kind of an update on what's going on here. I'll put the links to my new video channel that I started over there. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop posting here at the moment. I'm going to keep posting and hopefully I have appealed uh, these fake uh, these fake attacks on my content and hopefully uh, someone at YouTube will actually take the time to look into it instead of having a minimum wage or a bot look at these fake reports that come in. This is something that uh, people with uh, channels that, that speak to the hard topics and try and challenge us. This is something we're dealing with all the time. Uh, other than that... Uh, Crazy stuff kind of going on over on my Wikipedia page. There's like an edit war going on over there. If you guys want to go check it out, if you do do Wikipedia, I don't ask for anyone to go to Wikipedia and like shower me in praise. All right. Wikipedia, by and large, I find to be pretty useful, but sometimes with current things, it's just all over the map. But 
It's getting vandalized like crazy. If you look at some of the edit history, I mean, they're saying things like Gavin fled to Mexico and is running a churro stand. Gavin has Montezuma's re revenge and his trailer is filthy, dirty, and contaminated. I mean, just, just trolling and attacking uh, defamatory statements constantly rather than just the simple facts of, of what I say and what I do, talking about loving our neighbor and talking about injustice and speaking out against it. And of course, of course, refusing to comply with terrorist courts, with terrorist cops like Patrick Kennedy, with terrorist courts like Grant County and prosecutors like Garth Dano and, and Mark Fedorak. We don't have to lie down. We don't have to walk into a gas chamber, you guys. And the message is always the same. People need to stop complying with tyrants. You have no legal or moral responsibility to bow down and lick the boots of a tyrant. Be careful out there this weekend. There's going to be a lot of tyrants working, trying to generate a lot of revenue. Be safe. Love your neighbor. And uh, always... Always be aware, always be awake, never let yourself fall for the, for the propaganda. I appreciate your support, your, your likes, your subscriptions. Check out the new channel. If you want to support these videos, uh, you can also uh, go to, uh, to uh, my website over at callmegav.com, things like that. But just follow along. I'll, I'll try to get back to live streaming as soon as I can, as soon as uh, YouTube stops censoring me and just like cutting people off for unnamed and and uh, arbitrary violations where we don't even know what we said but regardless of what any of these networks uh, social media places there'll always be something new right because we can we can take the technology we can build it out we can use our voice we need to never let companies governments and corporations or individuals silence our individual voices in speaking out for truth and justice i'm gonna go Peace, guys. Stand up.